So a while back we had problems with um, air conditioning on this unit. So we did change we did change the evaporator which is um, under the seat. Right in there, it's a lot of work to change that. We did change a um, couple of houses underneath. I'll show you in a second, let me open it. So, we did have to change a few houses on the aircon. Like I think we'll change that one. It's another one from the front going all the way to the back. It was leaking. And uh, on and on and on. And still doesn't hold up. Um, yes. So I bought a UV light. I put some um, dye in the system. But we couldn't, um, I couldn't find them from outside where it's leaking. So my belief is when I put the evaporator in, in there, either I touch the evaporator somewhere, or evaporator condenser, I'm not sure which one is it, but either I touched it somewhere and I made a small hole in it, either it's got two hoses goes into it, which has got two o-rings, one of the o-rings doesn't doesn't hold, I, I believe I'm hoping the problem is there, now is the time to take the seat out and have a look again in there what's what's actually wrong I have to mention it wasn't a big leak I did try to put some seal in the system which I did a couple of times but yeah didn't seal it so but the aircon once was pumped was going for about a month so we'll see we'll see we'll see what's going on today so this is so far uh, what do you have to pull apart to get to that box it's a lot of seat pull apart it's pretty heavy all this it's got another steel cover on top I just took that one apart now I have to take it's a screw there just to lift up that one it's got I'll show you in a small See these small screws, it's got them all around the box so you can take the cap. The worst is got over there where the air goes out, it's got a few of these, which you can't really reach it. So, not much space, but yeah. That's it. I've got it open. So what we've got here, this is for the aircon which I did replace in January so now I'm hoping it's not been damaged I might damage it when I put it in as it's hard to put it in or or it's leaking down the bottom where the o-rings where the pipes are going in and out and this is for the hot system pretty I would say pretty stupid design because um, if you in, let's say, if you in winter and uh, you want to have your aircon on, let's say it's just a little bit warm outside and you have to have the aircon air on, it's not going to go 100% and hot water goes through that. And the turbine is here, so it's pushing it's pushing air through the aircon first and then through the hot system which hot system shouldn't work and then into the cab so you have to have there is a valve under the bonnet under the engine somewhere you have to shut down the water so not hot water comes into this which is a little bit of pain in the ass but yeah I'll call it a little bit of stupid design so now just try to have a look if it's any damage to this new thing unit I put in or something or I can just easily spot nothing so far so I have to undo all this crap all this just to get to the bottom to see the pipes <laughs> 